Welcome back, Officers of the Republic. Is your course on Underworld Police Chief AP Gaines here? I'm in the dark once again. I am joined by my illustrious and very beautiful girlfriend, Nikki Biggs. A couple days ago, we did a little video to explain how she has the best free to play account in the entire game, but today we're going to talk about how she got there because she had never played this game before. She had never watched Star Wars, so it was a very, uh, very comp not complicated, but very thorough process of uh, teaching her what to do. So, Nicole, how are you doing? I'm doing very well today. How are you? Is uh, is your mic stand a knife? Yeah, I just got it. What do you think? I like it. Uh, as you guys know, she's more of a man than I am, but we'll uh, put that past us. I'm a broad girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've switched over. I'm showing uh, your account over here. Uh, for all of you guys who may have missed Tuesday's video, let me just quickly show all the squad. She has her Jedi team, her bounty hunter team, her Geo team. She's going to have CLS. She's got... First Zeta on uh, Darth Vader. She got EP lead. She's got Mandos, which is, we're going to talk about a little bit. And then what we're probably going to talk about a lot is this Darth Revan team that I actually didn't tell you to farm, but you did on your own accord, which is a little bit concerning. Not necessarily concerning. Oh, wow. 136 Treya shards. So we're going to leave out raid characters for this video because obviously you're in an average guild, but lots of new players can't get into average guilds. So she's going to be more advanced there. But other than that, Characters that she had to manually hard node farm and cantina farm and get from shipments and stuff like that uh, is all fair game because that's all stuff that you guys are going to be able to keep up with her in terms of what she's done. So, Nicole, I am going to hop back in. I don't know why I closed out your characters list. Um, let me just filter by power since you have a lot of weird characters favorited. Mm -hmm. Um, right off the bat, uh, I told you to um, farm up like a separatist team to like level 30. A lot of people get too hung up on the starting team. Oh, say hi to Shadow for me. I see him walking in the background over there. He's right here. Shadow, you wanna say, you wanna meow for us? Yeah, he'll meow. Just don't stab him with your mic. Aw, he's so cute. So you had a little separatist team to like, that was a weird sound, but uh, a little separatist team to like oh. level 30, 40. Uh, most people keep their Phoenix starting team too long and they waste too much gear and they're like, man, I can get my EP so early, I can get my Thrawn super early, but you really don't need those characters until you hit level 85, and Nicole did really nothing in terms of Phoenix. I don't think she even has Phoenix characters. Yeah, I but she really has. Didn't. But you have your seven star Emperor Palpatine. You have your seven star Grandmaster Yoda. You have a ton of really good characters. You're positioned to get Padme right off the bat. You're positioned to get um, CLS right off the bat. You you might even be positioned to get Chewbacca early once you unlock that boss Kenobi at level 85. So you're really in a great spot, and you didn't. You obviously. I know because I told you what to do, but in your recollection, you didn't focus too much on that quote-unquote starting team, right? You kind of followed the game no, plan no, long-term, right? Long-term yeah. success. Yeah, that's what we're thinking. We're working on our long game, you know? Exactly. The longest of games. Uh, so basically, I gave her, like, a, in terms of pictures, because she obviously doesn't know characters' names, I sent her a picture list of all the characters that she should farm i got her farming up her jedi once she opened up those nodes so i think she got her uh, ahsoka and her jedi knight anakin pretty early because i had her focus super hardcore on those um she got her basil mm -hmm. shot up to seven stars ridiculously fast obviously thanks to double drops but once she opened up that node she kind of dropped everything to get her basil shawn um so she ended up having her basil shawn her jedi knight anakin and her ahsoka at seven stars in terms of cantina i had her get Old Ben Kenobi and then Luke Scar the farm boy Luke as the first and second cantina farms. That way she had four seven star Jedi, plus she had two seven star characters for her CLS. Um, eventually your old Ben got phased out by um, General Kenobi, but obviously most of you guys aren't going to get General Kenobi that fast, so you can keep old Ben in that in terms of squad arena and maybe even into GAC if you don't have another character to replace her or replace him. And then I think you, what was your seventh Jedi, reminds me? Uh, I didn't pay too much attention. Was it Luminara Unduli? Was it yes. Lumin yeah, it was Luminara. You, you, she's in there somewhere, but I think you, oh, wait, here she is. So Luminara, you get to seven stars. This is an old strategy that I talked about a lot. Get her to seven stars, Get her, leave her at level one. The, Jedi, the Grand Master Yoda event's really easy. You kind of just need to get into the event. And so then obviously you have your seven star Grand Master Yoda, which is going to be great for Grand Arena alongside that other Jedi squad. Um, another thing that I had you focus pretty heavily on, like we talked about Farm Boy Luke and Old Ben, was your Rebels for your CLS once you hit level 85. Um, it's a kind of a running joke on the channel. Uh, she doesn't know really anything about Star Wars except for those characters because I 
kind of drilled them into her head at this point isn't that right you know well actually i do know who they are more because we watched a new hope and i was like wait i've seen them before farm boy luke old ben i never yeah. know these people if you guys hadn't so seen that now video like I that video is going to come out uh, the day before this video comes out. So you guys theoretically should have saw that video. But uh, she and said she something. should have liked it and commented. Exactly. should have liked and commented. But something funny that she said to me before we started recording this video and the video that came out on Tuesday was she had all of her Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes stuff in her brain. And then she watched A New Hope and it kind of went all out the drain. She couldn't remember any Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes stuff. And it was just A New Hope stuff. So I thought that was kind of funny. But she had a Stormtrooper Han and a Princess Leia up uh, pretty quickly in... I think there's squad arena. Uh, she doesn't do too well in the squad arena or the fleet arena because I don't think she plays that often, to be fair. Yeah. yeah but she got her uh, Princess Leia up to seven stars pretty quickly, as well as her Stormtrooper Han. Oh, I see you got new gun rate of seven stars. That's pretty cool. So she got those two characters up. And then in terms of R2-D2 in that fifth slot for her CLS, it's kind of just a matter of getting your EP, which you can get easily because you obviously are going to have a bunch of rebel characters. You just throw in a random level seven. I think hers was Zeb. I think he's the only level. What am I filtering for? Power. So she got her EP up to seven stars pretty easily. And then Darth Vader is kind of just in terms of achievements. You'll eventually get him at seven stars. And then the mm -hmm. other Empire characters that I had her get just up to seven stars for terms of the event, they don't, kind of don't really do anything, but they're the quickest to farm. So Tarkin, uh, Snowtrooper and TIE Fighter Pilot, these are the same ones that I got over on the account that I play on. Uh, you can get them to 7 stars really quickly. Basically gives you a full Empire team. Darth Vader EP carry the event, obviously, so you can get your R2-D2. And then uh, she might need to level up her R2-D2, but these characters, how they are now, can probably get through the CLS event no problem. So once she hits level 85, she'll have him over there. Obviously, she has her Han Solo, but again, I'm going to leave raid characters out of this because a lot of you guys aren't going to be able to get into good guilds. Um, I wouldn't say the guild she's in is amazing, but, you know, they're all Discord boys. I love them. They're fantastic people. They've been they've been nice to you, right? I, I still think too. it's I so funny them. that yeah. you're holding a knife. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, so we'll adds, leave Han Solo out of that. It adds flavor. It does. add some flavor to the video. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I... Uh, it's very practical, very ergonomic, actually. Yeah, it looks uh, very nice. Uh, I didn't give you a cool lightsaber border for your uh, your face cam, so you're, you kind of look kind of out of place here. But you know what? The knife really makes up for the lack of the uh, well, the little I'll border. I'll find a mini lightsaber, and that'll be the next prop for okay. the mic. I like that. I'll get you a little lightsaber keychain. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's keep going. We talked about rebels, empire, all that stuff. Um, Kind of the next team I had her farm, which are part of the AP Gains core teams. I know a lot of you guys love are the Bounty Hunters. Bounty Hunters are super useful. They're not only a fantastic offensive GAC team once you get that Bosca Zeta in there, which is probably a top three Zeta for you early game free to play players. Um, they get you your Chewbacca, which is going to be invaluable once you get that CLS going. And then by the time you get CLS, you guys should, or by the time you get Chewbacca and CLS, rather, you guys should have your, your Han Solo at least unlocked. So then you have that powerful CLS team which is going to dominate either on offense or defense for you guys. Um, kind of the problem, and I think you're going to agree with this once you play your first Grand Arena, Nicole, but kind of the problem with this farming strategy, the only hole it really has is that there's too many good teams, and some of them you're not going to be able to use. So you might suffer from a little bit of success early on until you get into some later stages where you can use more teams. But other than uh, suffering from being too amazing, I don't think there's really a lot of holes in this. Uh, you just hit level 84, which means you have a four-star brood, uh, Genosian Brood Alpha, with your Genosian team, which you've obviously farmed passively, I think, mm -hmm. throughout. Um, the great thing about them is since they share health and protection, not, none of them really need to be strong. They kind of just need to exist in order to dominate on defense. <laughs> Do you agree? I know you haven't used them I yet because you just unlocked Genosian Brood Alpha, but, you know. I know, but we're almost at level five, 85, and then they'll be all set, the five-man <laughs> Ooh, it's gonna be so good. Ooh, are you gonna live stream your first ever Grand Arena, or maybe just a private video, in case there's any hiccups? We'll see. I think that what will determine that is if I get some cat ears for my headphones. I think that would be unbelievable. Whether I adorable. should like live stream or not, you know? Yeah. So well, you guys should comment. Kitty, kitty ears for the headphones and live stream. Ooh. You guys can decide. I'm in favor. I would love that. I think that would be absolutely adorable. I'd probably be <laughs> blushing the whole time in the background. Anyway, 
Uh, let's talk about Mandos a little bit. Obviously, these are marquee characters, the uh, Bo-Katan and armor that you have. So those characters are basically free. Uh, I think you passively farmed up a couple of stars worth of uh, Sabine Ren just to throw in there. Yeah. I think you probably mostly got it from just passive shards from uh, Galactic War, which everyone hates. And then a long time ago, you farmed up your Mando and your Grief to two stars because that was the only thing you had ever seen at that point. It was two episodes of Mando. So she got those characters mm -hmm. early. I'm not sure why, <laughs> but I guess it kind of paid off now. She has kind of a little core Mando team right here. And then yep. what people really want to talk about is this Darth Revan team. Why did you farm this Darth Revan team? <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining. It's obviously, I well, mean, it's, it's gonna it's, it's gonna end up working out really, really well for you. I don't think you realize how well it's gonna work out for you. So you accidentally made a great decision, but obviously you love Basil Sean Fallen. I know you're trying to leave me for her, but is there any <laughs> other reason? Why did you farm this team? Well, the my reason is, I don't know if you're gonna approve. I, I'm not gonna approve for for, for Basil Sean Fallen. I knew it. That's the only reason. I originally thought that it was because she saw how much I liked Darth Revan, so she wanted to be like me. You know how kind of like your little siblings want to no. act like you? But I've I uh, realized now it's kind of just that she loves Basil and Sean Fallen. I am preparing for Darth Revan, but for You're the time being, I'm Basil really Sean. enjoying um, Basil Sean Fallen. <laughs> You're really enjoying it a level a nice... 1 power 15, 21 Basil Sean. You know what? Kind of the only thing you can really do in this She's game my is... my favorite. She is your favorite, I know, is spin the characters. If you're going to leave me for Basil Sean Fallen, she better be thick. And she's not. I'm thicker than Basil okay, Sean Fallen. Well, no, I don't know about that. And my lightsaber is bigger. You can as her and we'll decide. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. For 4,000 subscribers, but I'll is do it double-sided? No, it's single-sided, unfortunately. See? Yeah, that's the problem. So maybe that's what we'll do. 4,000 subscribers all cosplay as Basil Sean Fallen. You cosplay as Darth Revan? <laughs> yes. Do you think we can get 4,000 subscribers by the end of April? I think it's possible. I think it's possible, too. They, so. better, really want to, they better really want to see this cosplay, and we'll I think, get 4,000. Okay, 4,000 subscribers will cosplay. I, I'm sure you'll enjoy putting makeup on me more than I'll enjoy being dressed like a oh woman. Oh my gosh. It's I don't know anything how I've gonna... ever, it's everything I've ever wanted. I don't think I'll, I'll know how to really tell my parents about that, but uh, I think it'll be funny. So any closing I words be... before we end this nice little farming guide? Um, My closing statements are, well, in court. <laughs> you closing follow, statements. if I can do it, you guys can do it. Like That's actually a follow, great point. All these guides, like you guys can do it. It's, I honestly knew nothing about Star Wars going in. I still wouldn't say I know a lot. I definitely know a lot more than I did, which was zero. But if you just like follow the tutorials and you, you know, work a little bit every day, not even like every day each week, but just like more days than you than not, I think you have a really good chance of more days really than not meaning I know you take days off. <laughs> you could have had we could have had more this video out a, a week ago. <laughs> But she but thinks her think... education is important. Oh my god, education. And golf. And golf, yes, we have it's been golfing too. a lot. Are we golfing soon? We're golfing Wednesday, which is probably the day before this video yes, comes sir. out. Going golfing. You ready to lose? I haven't lost you in forever. I don't think I'm ever gonna lose to you again. Okay, we haven't been playing as much because of Because school. you keep losing. So saying forever is like, oh yeah, in a, but if you like look at the amount of games we've played. I it's think not you've, you've beat me once. I have this. I literally have the scorecards right next to me. Let's see them. Okay. Okay. Well, I think that's I... time for the end of the video. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't want to see the card Thank you guys bags. for watching. Yes. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And and subs and comment for um, AP Gaines dressing up as Darth. I mean, Vassal Sean Fallen, and I'll be Darth Revan. I think the power dynamic in our relationship has switched because of that, but I'm, I'm totally okay with that. As always, I love you guys, and I'll see you later.